After 352 days, more than 10,000 miles across 16 countries, he's here. The hardest geezer, Russ Cook, he's finally crossed the line in his epic challenge. And he's run into our studio. Hello, everyone. So brilliant. Of course, you know. <laughs> we're, I think we're slightly more excited to, to have you here than you are here. You're, just, you're glad to be sitting down right now, oh, aren't you? I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back home. That's so good. So you'll remember that we've been following him every step yeah. of the way. Uh, let's take a look. He calls himself the hardest geezer. He's going to need to be. Project Africa, day one. Russell joins us now from... South Africa. Gunza in Angola. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Guinea. Algeria. Day 17 now and I'm feeling sharp. Not looking too pink yet. You were held up at gunpoint. Two lads point a gun in all of our faces and tell us to give, give them everything we had. I got separated from the boys and then with machetes come out, I'm totally British. <laughs> I've weak blood, had food poisoning on multiple occasions. I wish I could do anything except run. I set the goal, get to Tunisia, and there's nothing that was going to stop me ever getting there. I'm looking forward to a Greg's, you know, <laughs> Tesco meal deal. Amazing to have so much support. It's just been quite overwhelming. So glad to have you here, safe and sound. God. Important question, have you had your sausage roll yet? Yeah, got straight off the plane yesterday. Uh, sausage roll, double cheeseburger, pizza, ice cream, oh. all in one go. So are you done with sausage rolls? Nah. No, I mean, so are you up for another? Yeah. In that case, bring them on. Oh, oh yeah. come on, they? come on. You, you can eat if these it comes. now, surely, for a while. Have we got them? I had one yesterday and I wanted to go back for more, but I also wanted uh, to make room for others. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, look <laughs> at that. that right? Oh, that's a posh gold one, isn't it? The gold collection. Moving on up in the world. I mean, it's either a very big sausage roll or there's more than one. Yeah, I think there's wow, quite a few it? in there. There's a good selection. Oh, wow. So, look, you're back. Yeah. You're still obsessed with your sausage rolls and your steak bakes. Uh, oh. oh! You deserve this. You this is your God treat. We won't be tucking yeah. in, don't you worry, but we don't want to take your tree. Um, you're back. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, what was the first night not in the van like? How many nights ago was that? Two nights ago? So, I finished running on Sunday and then we had a big party. Yeah. Um, and then I slept for about two hours and I was doing interviews and stuff all the next day. Then me and my family and friends took ourselves off to, to another hotel and, and, and on Monday night and, yeah, it was unreal. And then, I, then we was in another hotel here, which was banging. And, uh, yeah, got a nice eight hours in, feeling fresh. <laughs> haven't run in three days, so my legs actually work now, which is great. How much sleep were you getting when you're actually on the run? I did try and prioritise sleep quite a lot um, because... Basically, I'm running ultra marathons every day, so if I didn't sleep very well, then I'd yeah. really start to feel it, and it kind of compounds interest over every day. So I did try and make an effort of sleeping properly, but it doesn't always go to plan. When you're kind of on the road, I mean, I've run um, a marathon, as Kate has, but no, nothing like you. What do you dream of when you are, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's three in the afternoon, you've got another five hours to go. What, what, what's the thing in your head about coming home which you... Um, uh, Imagine. It's different. Is it a sausage roll? Yeah, I mean, it's different every day, you know, like the, the, we, there's also so many problems to be solved continuously throughout the mission. Mm. 16 different countries, that's like getting visas all the time. We're doing directions here. We've got like a jungle to go through, a desert to go through, or whatever. So there's often problems going through my head that I'm trying to yeah. solve. But then also, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming of that finish line, I'm dreaming of coming back home. Um, yeah, you know, I just, just glad, glad to be in back. In the in coming the home dream, what was in your mind? Sausage rolls, <laughs> pizza, my girlfriend, you know, family, Aww. all that stuff. Um, going back to Worthing, you know, seeing that I'm going for a curry with the boys on Saturday, so that'll be good. Will um, you run home from the curry like you normally do? Might do, you know. We you know, no, you might be missing it. Yeah. Then. <laughs> so let's clear up some things. First yeah. of all, where did Hardest Geezer come from? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've earned it now yeah. and then some, but how did it start? Um, Hard skis was mostly, like, mostly a joke, to be honest. It was just between me and a few pals. And then um, we were joking about, you know, who's the hardest skis? And then me and one of the boys had a, had a scrap for it, had a boxing match for it. And uh, 
I won and I decided, you know, I'm high skis now and uh, my, my pal's the, the Worthing Weasel and that's kind of just stuck, you know, like kind of just rolled with it. And, and it's uh, worth it. Well, when did the idea to do this come from? Because I know you, it, you were about yeah. eight years ago, wasn't it? Something like that, that you did your first half marathon and you had to be bullied into doing yeah. that by your mates. Yeah, yeah. Having so, run home from the pub one night. Yeah, yeah, ran home from the nightclub in Brighton and then um, my mate kind of twisted my arm. Uh, got me out training for a half marathon, and then we did that. Then I did a full marathon. I kind of just got the bug ever since then, really. You know, like the, the confidence that it gave me, I felt like motivated and disciplined, and all these kind of things for the first cool. time. And then just started running loads, got pretty good at it. And uh, then uh, in 2019, I decided after a, a, a bit of a stint traveling, I decided that I was going to run from uh, Istanbul to London. So I did mm. that. And then after that, I was like, what's the next one? Looked on the map, saw Africa had never been done before. Thought, I reckon I could give it a go. Took a while to get all the, all the you know, ducks in a row to get that underway. But then, Amazing. you know, mm. managed I to get I asked you Monday, what's next? And you said, you said North to South America. Was too easy. <laughs> too Wasn't easy. Wasn't tough yeah. enough. <laughs> Is that mischief or have you got something even bigger planned? Uh, I'm not sure 100% what, what will be next. But, you know, adventure is always going to be a big part of my life. And uh, we'll be looking to push the limits even further next Come time, on, I speculate think. with us. And what did you get? Around he's the definitely world. had a yeah, lot. Look at him, he's going to tell us, I can feel it. Like <laughs> Come on. I'm not sure, there's a few out there. I don't want to, I don't want to give my cards don't away. Don't jinx it. Too, too early, yeah, but we'll... Um... Around the world? Well, around the world's a difficult one because there's a few people that have kind of said they've done around the world, mm. but like, there's a lot of sea, so... You'd have to keep running yeah. on a ship or you know, something, wouldn't that's you? That's a good point. You know, I'm not <laughs> Jesus. Good, so point. I'm not... <laughs> good, good point on this. I'm scene. the hardest geezer, but I'm not <laughs> Jesus. I can't run on water. Walk, walk, yeah. water. So, look, uh, what has it given you that you now think um, has changed your life, basically? You've had a lot of time to think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, it's all been a bit overwhelming since the finish. Like, yeah. even just seeing friends, family, everyone there. Loads of people came out to Tunisia. It's just been crazy. And, you know, I got back to the UK last night. Okay. You all right? Yep. So, and you're tell us about, tell and you us about your charity. for a reason. Yes. So, this is your chance to tell people. Yeah, so we're raising money for two charities. Uh, the first one is the running charity. We try and engage young people in sport right here in the UK. Uh, and then the second one is Sandblast, which do work in the Sahara. There's a refugee yep. camp. There's about 100,000 people there. No one knows about it and they run educational and cultural programmes there. Right. So we've raised, I think, the last time I checked was at 860,000 yep. quid. We're trying to hit a million. So if anyone can help us, Correct. there's a GiveStar link in all my social media bios. Correct. If you go and check that out, that'd That's be amazing. Brilliant. Thanks, everyone. We've got to go. The brilliant sausage rolls getting back. cold. You're the hardest geezer, but amazing. you've got a soft centre. That's what we love about you. Congratulations. Good luck with the fundraiser. Cheers. I'm going to go and stuff my face. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Do it, Fine. do it. Uh, can I just say, you know, do you need help with them? Yeah. Fine, fine, great. We'll see you after.